here's the fly tying cabinet I just built. Well, I built it about six, seven months ago, and uh, I really like it. Um, it's on a Better Homes and Garden desk we got from Walmart. We got it for like a hundred bucks, but uh, it wasn't originally intended to use as a fly tying desk, but we kind of turned it into that. Um, that's how deep it goes. I think it's like 20, I, I have to look at the plans, I think it's like 23 inches deep, something like that. And let's open it up, take a look. I'm doing this video for my post. I figured that the instructions alone wouldn't, or not instructions, but the post alone wouldn't. Uh, this would give you a better idea what I've what I've done here. And what I got here on the, I got the doors. I got pegboard on the doors, so I can have a bunch of materials. Those are the locks, so I can keep the door shut for my keep my kids out of it. That was one of the requirements I had to have for me to be happy with it. Um, I painted a section white so I could see my materials and things that were on it. Um, this is what I was tying on before. And uh, just as you see, there's not a whole lot of room there anymore in the storage. I was just using a few drawer bins, and that wasn't working too well either. But the shelves, lots of storage. Lots of shelving storage that I really, it's really good. Um, the shelves are put on with the bookcase pegs. And uh, you want to put them about, this is, I didn't do this as far enough back, I wish I would put it about right here instead. Line them up all the way there because sometimes I pull things out the shelf wants to fall. But um, the shelf wants to fall and it's just it's a little bit inconvenient. But it does what it's supposed to. There's my dubbing, a big bass, a big pike musky box. My vices, more shelves, hook storage, bead storage, shop light. The light gives off plenty of light. I don't need to mess with um, any other light because it gives plenty of light for that fly, for when I'm tying flies. Um, the door, I had to, when I built it, I built, there's the door, the door frame right here and the door, back of the door right here, and then there's three slats that I used to put to support this pegboard. There's one right here, one right here, one right here, and it goes the length of the pegboard. And uh, I had to use those to, as support for this pegboard so that I could put the pegs in. But anyway, this is it. I hope you enjoy it and uh, hope it inspires you to uh, build your own because I'm so glad that I built my own instead of bought a uh, roll top desk. This roll top just wasn't going to do what I needed it to. Anyway, there you have it. We'll talk to you later.